Hey folks, this is Jake Davis and on the Fly Review for you. And tonight I'm talking about Minions, Rise of Groove. Uh, released today, directed by Kyle Balda. Starring the voices of Steve Carell, Julie Andrews, Russell Brand, Alan Arkin, Taraji P. Henson, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren, Danny Trejo, Lucy Lawless, Michelle Yao, the RZA, and of course Pierre Coffin as the Minions. The whole setup here is set in 1976 uh, and attempts to impress his his favorite villain supergroup. A uh, young Gru steals a MacGuffin from them and ends up having all of their evil, wicked forces on his ass. Of course, he gets captured, but he doesn't know where the MacGuffin is. The minions do. So the minions got to find the MacGuffin. And rescue, um, uh, because of course they lost it. And rescue grew. And, uh, you know, if you've seen one of these movies, they're pretty much all the same. Uh, that being said, I enjoyed this movie. I'm going to give it three and a half stars. I thought it was very funny. I thought it was very fast paced. I thought it did a good job of establishing its new characters. Um, I thought the voice acting was done, was good. Especially Alan Arkin. He's great, always, and no matter what the hell he's in. Uh, and I, as I said, I thought all three Despicable Me movies were really good, especially the first one. Um, I didn't care for Minions, but after seeing this, the sequel, I realized that I didn't care for Minions because there was no goddamn Steve Carell. Uh, he's what makes it work. Uh, but that still being said, three movies, spinoff with a sequel, and at least one, um, uh, Pre film short, probably more than that. Uh, and now 12 years into it, uh, they, they should probably call it quits here with the Minions. I'm sure if this makes, I mean, with the Despicable Me series universe. Uh, but if this makes fun, I'm sure they're going to do more of this stuff. Uh, yeah, it's an entertaining movie. Definitely worth taking your kids to see. Definitely a good time for everybody, I think. Uh, it, do, it is a lot of the same jokes over and over. Uh, that you've gotten the same ones in earlier films, that is. Uh, and also a plus, I'm not going to sit here and say I hate Pharrell Williams, because I did hate F Pharrell Williams, but I got older, I got, you know, I got less annoyed by him, started to appreciate some of his work as he got older. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to see uh, a film where he's not doing all the goddamn music. <laughs> Even that does mean we have to listen to shit like Disco Inferno and Funky Town. You know, we still get to hear stuff like uh, Vehicle, too. But, you know, that that's another thing, too. Basically, your... Hello? Your generic... There's no song you hear in this movie that you definitely haven't heard in multiple movies before. Either way, entertaining, very fun, definitely worth seeing. Three and a half stars. Take your kids to see it. I'm Jake Davis. And I'll catch you on the fly. Will you stop that, please? <laughs>